Hi Ocean Grove, uh, I'm Dave and I'm Lil and we're going to give you a bit of an update on the Pitinjarra Bible Project. So uh, for those of you who are new to the church or don't know who we are, we've um, been involved in translating the Pitinjarra Old Testament for the last few years. Uh, how did we get involved in this work, Lil? So we used to work in the APY lands, um, employed at the school. Dave was a teacher and I was an SSO. And that's where we met Tanya and Stu, who were teaching at Armisher at the time. So we had a good friendship with those guys. And then after, when we all finished up teaching, we ended up um, getting invited to be a part of the Bible Translation Project. So we went to Bible College and have been doing this ever since. <laughs> and you guys have been a massive part of um, our ministry right from the beginning, really. You've, you've supported us in prayers and finances. And so we want to just give you a bit of an update as to where the project's at, even though it's been a crazy few months um, with the COVID and everything. We've um, we've actually done quite a bit of translation work. So I've been working with translators over the phone from Urnabella and Armada and um, Port Adelaide. And um, yeah, we're getting quite a few books done. We finished our first draft of Zechariah recently and um, a few other first drafts of different books. So even though we've been in lockdown, uh, the work is still going ahead. So we had planned um, to do some workshops and trips and kids ministry in the APY lands in uh, July and in other times. Um, but as most of you would have heard, the APY lands borders have been closed ever since the COVID sort of broke out um, because of the vulnerability of the communities. Um, so a lot of things have had to be put on hold. Um, so we're just taking this season um, for what it is and um, all the translators in Adelaide have been able to work from home and they've all continued faithfully with that even with the restrictions so we see that it's been um, it's God still been blessing the work regardless of that. Yeah. Mm. Another thing we plan to do in July this year is launch the new revised Pitinjarra Bible on the land so we plan to go and visit the 10 communities on the APY lands and, and sell some of the new Bibles that we've worked on. Um, this is an updated version of the New Testament plus about 10% of the Old Testament. But obviously with the border restri uh, the restrictions on the APY lands, we weren't able to do that. So we've worked out a way with the stores to sell the Bibles through the stores, which is actually probably a better way of doing it anyway. So. Um, yeah, the word is getting out there and people are accessing this new Bible, which is really great. Um, something else we've been working on the last few weeks is a new scripture app specifically for Pitinjara people. So the idea is that those that can't read the text can have the audio playing to them and the text will be highlighted as the audio is played to them. So um, it's a great way of helping literacy development as well, not just getting the word out there, but um, hopefully encouraging people to read their own Bibles as well and learn to read as the scriptures are being played to them. So that's mm. an exciting thing we've been working on and that should be out in the next couple of weeks. Mm. We've been really encouraged to hear about how um, well the Bibles have been received. I think there's only three left from the ones that we posted. So there will be more, of course, coming, but um, they've been eagerly received by people and we've heard reports that there's been a lot of increased church services and times of worship and sharing together particularly among young people so we feel um, that that's a real prayer point that we could pray God will continue to bless that um, bless the word going forth and those seeds that are planted and the hunger for his word and we just feel that in the time um, that we're living in this world where there's a lot of um, tension um, that it's just the word of God provides hope um, and a message of reconciliation that's never been more relevant than now. So mm. we just ask that you might join us in prayer that that will continue amongst the people in the lands. Yeah. And thank you guys so much uh, just for your partnership with us. We really feel like this is a ministry of the wave. And um, yeah, as we mentioned before, so many of you have um, invested in us through prayers and finances, the churches supporting us financially and we just want to honor you guys for that um mm. special mention to patsy quinn's ladies group they sort of uphold us in prayer regularly and um we've seen so many answers to prayer uh mm. from emails that we've flicked patsy and um yeah we're just really grateful for your support um also there are a number of individual individuals in the church that have just been tremendously generous with their 
are giving to us and we just want to honour you and thank you so much for your partnership with us. Um, we've sent out a newsletter recently, so hopefully that will come through to you guys in the church email if it hasn't already. If you want to stay in touch with us, probably the best way to do it is just to flick Tanya or Stu an email and they can um, pass on our email address to you and you can sign up to get our newsletter regularly. So mm. yeah, it's another way you can stay in touch with us. Mm. And thanks again for your support and um, it's just such a blessing to share this with you guys. And hopefully we'll come and visit you soon when these restrictions are lifted. We'd love to catch up again. Yeah. All right, God bless guys. All right, see ya. Bye.